Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6 To The Sky. Um, in between episodes, I actually did do something, uh, which is not too often that that happens, and I'm seeing if they were still here, but uh, I did record it because I didn't want to just do this off-camera. There was a wandering trader, like the, the, you know, the dude with the two llamas, right? And he was here, and I opened him up, and he actually had some modded trades. Um, and a, as you hopefully saw in the clip that, uh, I don't know, it played, it played at some point. You, you, you might have seen it now. You might have seen it before, but we traded 25 emeralds, which apparently we've got a few more, for a beacon. Uh, we have a beacon now. Um, now, I don't know if we need a beacon, <laughs> or, or if we can even use a beacon, because we need a lot of blocks for that. Maybe maybe we can make a copper beacon? I don't know how many, um, you know, stacks of stuff we need, but, I mean, we, we've got one, right? So, so, so that's pretty cool. You know what? I think we can set it up. Don't you only need... At minimum, nine blocks? L let's see if you can even use copper for this. Let's, I, I mean, we might as well give it a shot, right? Um, so I'm going to go for nine blocks of copper. Because, I mean, I even using this nine, how much more copper do we have? We have a stack. Yeah, I, I mean, we're pretty good on copper. Let's see if I can set this guy up. Um, I suppose here looks pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. Copper blocks, looks beautiful. Place this guy down. Ooh. It glows nice and beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, it works, I guess. Alright, so what can we do with the beacon? Like, is it even worth having? The village is still here. But he's invisible. Wait, wait, I see him on the map. He's, like, right here. Or, he's below. Ah, there he is. Look at this. See, I'm not a liar. Oh, and the beacon trade's still there. Beautiful. Awesome. A, a complete arc. Um, so here's a beacon. Yeah, I guess... I mean, I guess we just have one. What, what do we want? Speed or haste? Haste might be cool, but also speed... Ooh! Speed for running down there? Yeah, don't mind if I do. So, I've got to put in a bar, right? And it does say, like, you know, these specific materials can be used. But I wonder if I could use something modded. What do we have the most of? We have a lot of aluminum. Is it aluminum or aluminium? Aluminum. Oh, no. Nah, we're not allowed to. The rules are the rules, apparently. Um, we'll probably use gold then. Wait, did it even say we could? I'm going to assume that it said we could. I hope I'm not being dumb. No, I'm not. Ha, I'm a genius. Um, we're going to click on speed, put in the gold ingot, and say yes. So now... Now we have speed. Beautiful. Our field of view gets altered a little bit. Are you able to change that in the settings? I don't know if you are. Oh, dynamic field of view. There you go. I might turn that off just because, I mean, I've already got a pretty a pretty big field of view uh, compared to most people. So I, I don't want to I don't want to stress you guys out too much. I mean, normally, you know, normally I'd play with that high field of view, but it's fine. Um, this has been a long sort of intro. I haven't really said what the plan was for this episode, but... I mean, you clicked on the video, you should have seen the title. Um, hopefully, because once again, I, I, I'm not the greatest at planning these out, but hopefully, we'll set up storage. And I want to actually try out modular storage from RF Tools Storage, because I've never done it before. And I feel like most people, they go for either Applied Energistics or um, Refined Storage, right? So I feel like we might as well, we might as well give ref uh, RF Tools a, a shot. And it's pretty cheap, right? We're going to need some redstone. Uh, some quartz, which I think we have. Nether quartz. Uh, I think. We, we, we do have crushed, uh, or, or at least netherrack. So, if we have to set that up, that, that'll be fine as well. Um, and then we need, you know, gold nuggets. We've made this before. That's fine. And just the chest. So, it should be quite doable. And I've been sifting dust while I was on before. and I, I was just getting stuff done. I was honestly trying to get the mobs to spawn, but... They weren't spawning, which which will lead to my to my next part of, of, of this story, which is I want to start building things more in this direction, like start slowly moving that way, so that we're closer to this little field here, so that we can you know have the mobs actually spawn because um, I don't think it's going to happen, right? Especially not if we're standing here. Um, so 
How about we go ahead and try and make this guy? Um, so for starters, what are we missing? Um, I think... Are we only missing the machine frame? Let's have a look. Machine frame. We probably can't craft it. It's saying... No, we've got enough iron. I think we just need to turn some of this into this. Like so. And then craft one. Yes, machine frame. Beautiful. Um, then hopefully we can just click this. Hmm. What are we missing? We have the quartz. So I think... Oh, no. We have the redstone too. I think it's that it's trying to use a personal chest instead of just a chest chest. Right? So let's grab one of these and place that there. Now will the recipe work? It doesn't want to. It really doesn't want to. Hmm. Maybe... I guess we'll just grab the stuff out manually. Oh, you know why? The nether quartz actually only has two. It was, uh, I guess, a bug in the inventory here. Um, do we get quartz in here? Where did we get this quartz from? Was it from netherrack? I mean, I doubt it, but I don't think we have quartz in any of these. So, so it must have been from something we've sifted. That's fine. I'll, um, I'll crush up a stack of this. How does that sound? Alrighty, we have our netherrack. Go ahead and crush it. Beautiful. Um, and then I, I get. Either I sift it, or I put it in here, and, and this guy sifts it. Which, I mean, it's not fast, but, I mean, all, all we need is one. Alright, it has a 20% chance. Um, we also have some pretty good chances at netherite scrap, to be honest. Um, there we go. We have our quartz. Beautiful. Um, now, can I craft this? I can. Beautiful. Modular storage. Um, now, I think by himself, this guy's pretty useless. So, we might as well try and get one of these guys, too. A tier 1 storage module. Um, so two nether quartz is, once again, probably the only thing we're really waiting on. Oh, we get some seeds as well. You know what? This is taking a while. I've actually got quite a bit of time saved up now. Oh, did we get any? Oh, we got netherite scrap. I should be able to speed this guy up. And we can go, say, 16 times, and that's a lot better. And we have a nether quartz. I think, yeah, th that should be good. Clearly, you know, our power can't exactly keep up with the... With essentially 16 of these, right? So it's, it's using a lot of RF, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Let's um, see if we can get this guy. Um, can we craft it? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Tier 1 storage module. A, oop, a modular storage. And I think that's it. I, I don't really know how this works, though. Um, this modular storage system can store a lot of items and allows easy searching and filtering. Beautiful. You must first insert a storage module item before you can use it. So I think that's what this is. Um, now, these you can actually upgrade, and the upgrades are pretty cheap. Um, or, or at least this one is, that goes from 100 to 200, right? Just more nether quartz and a little bit of gold. The next upgrade requires blocks of gold, blocks of quartz, blocks of redstone, and it only holds an extra 100 stacks, which doesn't sound too good. Um, now, I assume, oh, I assume this guy needs power. Um, I, I almost don't want to place it here because I don't want to get into a habit of placing everything here. You know what I mean? You know what? Hmm. Hmm. Let's move stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to move stuff. I want to move all of this to, once again, more this way. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what the plan is. M maybe we do a little bit of building. Alrighty, how does this look? We didn't have enough um, of the stuff, but that should be pretty good. We can place this here, just to, I guess, finish it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll fix that later, <laughs> right? Alright. Energy pipes, beautiful. I should be able to quite easily run these guys around back here. And maybe just run like a wall here, right? And then we can place our stuff along here. So I'll, I'll place it on the storage and, and we'll see how this works. No storage module. So lock the storage to access the items. All right. I'm going to hold on to my storage module and right click. Okay. Nothing happened. Items of stone sorted. Do I place it in this slot here? It looks like it. Okay. I've placed it. Um, lock slash unlock the module slots. So I can lock it and unlock it. Maybe I shouldn't spam it. Um, okay, so what if I put planks in? What if I click this and then try to put planks in? No. Okay. I have no idea. Oh, I'm back. Um, I think I was just lagging. I think. 
so here's our items, right? They can go in here and... Ooh, I guess... Okay, so it holds a stack at a time, right? So, so it's not like your traditional um, storage where it combines it all. I wonder if I can set that compact equal stacks? Mm, maybe not. Okay. Um, don't show groups. Wait, I wonder if compact equal stacks combines them? No. Okay. We're, we're learning together, guys. Don't show groups. Show groups. Sword on name. Items are shown in list view. Okay. Ooh, grid view. Yeah, I like this one better, I think. Unlock to access these slots. Name-based filter for items. So if I search plank... Oh, <laughs> honestly, I don't know what's going on. It's a little bit... What is happening? All right. I I'm already a little bit scared of uh, going for this storage, but we'll, we'll, give it its, we'll give it its worthy try. So you can unlock it to take the stuff out, and it, it remembers the information. So, you know, you can, I guess, alter them in and out. What I'm worried about, though, is this only holds 100 stacks, right? Um... Which isn't the greatest, but I am curious. So we've got, uh, what's something interesting? We can put a watering can in there. Let's do that. And can we pick this up on the storage scanner? Because that would be pretty big. Um, so if I search water, it should show up if it's on the list. Do I have to like rescan? I don't think so. I have a hunch that it's not showing up. There are some invisible items here, which I guess... Could be. In fact, for some reason, vertical oak planks are showing up as an object. Um, I don't think I can store stuff in planks. I could. Well, I, I'm not 100% sure, but, you know. Oh, you know what? Wait, no, that's a coal generator. Okay, that doesn't really help. Here it is. Modular storage. <gasps> okay. There we go. Look at that. You can see the modular storage in here. Um, let me change this back into wide storage. So I can make this routable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This changes the whole game. This this changes literally our entire storage system. So, these guys are effectively just chests, right? They're just big chests. Um, they're big chests with, I guess, a fancy inventory. So, I, I guess I could literally use chests instead of these. They don't use power. So the cables don't really matter. Um, but the cool thing is I can access them from here. I'm just trying to think, like, is it better to use these modular storages or is it better to just set up a bunch of chests? I mean, I guess the issue with setting up chests, right, is I can't actively go and check exactly how much I've got. Like in here, I can go, oh, okay, three out of a hundred stacks. I'm going to kill that guy soon. He's very, you know what? I can actually fix this. Um, potion. There we go. Wandering trader drink potion. No more. Um, yeah, this I can I can monitor when my storage is going to be full. I guess that's the alternative to just setting up um, literally any of these chests or even storage drawers, right? Because you can make some pretty cool chests here. Like, you can make a crystal chest using diamonds. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think for now, though, we will use this. And... Hmm, do I have to, like, refresh this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try and empty everything into these. What is this? Manage M block, prosperity block, inferior block. Is that in here? Where is that happening? In here? It must be. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in there. So does that mean the manage M stuff's full? Wherever that was. In here? No. Interesting. How did it get through the system? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to slowly empty everything from here um, into everything. Hmm. How do I... Is there an easy way to do this? Alright. I don't think there's an easy way to do it apart from just going here and like spam clicking. Um, I... Hmm. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get it all done eventually. Look at this. Instantly goes in. I accidentally put my wrench in, but it's fine. Honestly, yeah, this will make things a lot easier. Let me put everything in here, except for my axe. And I might just go and destroy the chest. I think that'll probably be the easiest solution. 
All right, so the chest is actually almost full, right? This storage. We have 87 out of 100 uh, stacks stored. Um, I'm thinking... Well, there's a few things I want to do. One of them is I want to see what happens if I go to upgrade this guy. Like, if he's going to lose all of his uh, internals. Can I also grab the quartz out? Beautiful. Because um, I, I, I don't know, frankly. Um, we should be able to click this. And actually, no, I'm not going to do it in this. We'll, we'll, we'll do it in a different um, chest. I, hmm. Until we have our system sorted, it's very annoying to get resources. I will tell you that much. Alrighty, I have the stuff. Let's um bring this guy over as well, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. He's going to go here. And this way we can... Oop, we can double check that it's not going to erase all the, all the inventory. Right, so we can move it here. Hover over this guy. And as you can see, contents 85 out of 100 and contents 85 out of 200. So it works. We can move this across and we should have all of our stuff still in here. Yep, beautiful. And it can hold more. So I will get back to uh, doing my thing. Oop, and while I'm doing stuff, apparently I forgot to uh, light up this area. So we have to take care of business. Um, hopefully we have torches in here. Do we? I don't see any. Um, we do. Okay, beautiful. Boom. Uh, let's sort this by alphabetical, I think. Since they're not all grouped up in stacks, I, I think it, it'll be much better to just have them, you know, be name-wise. Um, so here we go. We're, we should be pretty good in terms of uh, having everything, possibly even in just the one chest. My issue... I have two issues. One is this guy doesn't hold enough. The other being this guy is too slow to put things into the system. Like, they sit in here for a bit. Wait, let me... Yeah, let's make sure that we have the thing selected. Like, it's not instant. You see, you see that? For that one second that it sits there, I can't put in another thing, right? And, oh my god. Okay, we're going to sleep. We are going to sleep. I hate them. I hate everything about them. Actually, I probably can't sleep because, as you can see, there's quite a lot of people on. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is try and make a charm. I'm going to hide behind this. Um, so I would like to make a sleep charm. Sleep charm. This guy right here. Um, I don't think we have everything. We need white dye, black dye, and red dye. Um, we should be able to get that. The white dye, it looks like we're going to get from here. Oh, the, the red dye, sorry. The white dye should be from bone meal. So that should be fine. Um, the black dye. Um, I think we can make a mortar and pestle. Oh. We can make one of these from Britannia. So it's a bowl, planks, and a stick. I think any stick works. Um, although apparently we don't have that. I don't think we have a bowl. Let's make a bowl. Let's make a mortar and pestle. Boom. And then I think what I can do is grab the stuff from here. A black petal. Run away again. And I can grind this up into dye. Let's have a look. Yep, black dye. Beautiful. And then the rest of this stuff, I think I can just chuck in there. Does this do anything? No. What about with the flower? Uh, no. I was hoping maybe it would, like, double it or something, but that's fine. Um, so now, we should be able to make a sleep charm using all of these ingredients. And what this guy does is we can chuck him on... I think it goes at, like, the bottom. Yeah, we have a sleep charm now. And that should stop phantoms from spawning. So once we take care of this guy, we should never have to deal with any more. And it instant auto sleeps. Not auto sleep, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I might be able to skip through the night. No. But but see, it instantly now says that I'm sleeping. So, so that's what that does. Um, it, it, I think it actually says in the description. Um, allows players to sleep without delay. Slowly reduces insomnia. Okay, so we'll take care of this guy. If you, you know how um, vanilla Minecraft do that thing where they um they let you vote on the next update, right? For Bedrock Minecraft, um, if they ever do one that lets you take something out of the game, boy oh boy, I would jump on that in a second, a millisecond. I would be like Phantom out of here, and I I honestly I think everyone on the planet would. I, I don't know a single person who was like, ah, oh, I love me a good Phantom. Alright, <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to sleep through the night, but it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, we can make do. Our place is pretty bright, 
the shaders give us nice white light, so it's not as horrific as it was before. Um, why is he making a new sound? He literally invented a new sound. He's just... You're just muted, okay? I don't want to hear him. And I don't want to kill him, because that takes time. And I'm lazy. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was moving stuff. Alrighty, so, for the most part, everything's in there. Now, these two chests over here, they were mainly meant to be for um, Batania. So, anything non that I'm not really using for Batania, I'll probably take out of here. Like, I guess that ore and this ore I can take out of. But but I will keep these here. I, you know, I might move them around, but they need to exist. Um, the dirt chest, this whole system, I'm probably going to move further down that way. Maybe where um, that grass patch is. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um... As for these chests, I have to figure out something else as well. Oh, my... And we also need to probably move this. <laughs> because I'm falling in, and I, honestly, I'm almost dead. So, let's maybe, let's maybe, you know, eat a little bit. Alright, I also feel like this whole situation is a billion times messier than it honestly needs to be. Um, and I would love to incorporate it to our storage. I'm not entirely sure how we can do that. I'm thinking... Hmm, we're going to have to rip a lot of stuff up. And I'm thinking we upgrade our furnace as well. And we have a few options. Um, one option is we place like an electric furnace, which sounds pretty good. The other option is we set up something like an emerald furnace, which seems pretty cool. Now, these require a diamond furnace and a golden furnace and a silver or an iron furnace, right? You get the deal, right? Eventually, you get back to a furnace. Essentially, you just upgrade them, and they get faster and faster and faster each time. And what is this? Huh. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway. This guy's pretty fast. He still uses coal, though. I think there's a way to make them use electricity. Um, so, we could do that. And apparently, this guy doesn't actually accept um, gravel into his inventory. Which I thought this guy didn't. But... He does. He, he lets gravel in and then does nothing with it. So it's a very annoying system. Um, like having the gravel here. It's somewhat easily fixed with just a few, you know, with, with one cable filter. But, but you know, it's more than, more than we need, I guess. Um, so what's the plan? What do I do? All right. Honestly, I think the first step is picking things up. So let me grab a pickaxe to disconnect the... The, whatchamacallit, oh, I dropped it. I also don't have my magnet. I should probably grab that too. Boom. Okay. I'm going to, oh, oh. I'm going to grab this. <gasps> oh. Um, mainly just so that this guy stops outputting stuff, right? Update in 30 minutes. Oh, beautiful. I wonder what the, what the update does. Um, and then I'm just going to pick up this stuff. Which is, oh, going to make a mess. Going to get me a lot of XP, apparently. We can grab all of this junk out. Pick up all this. And we're just gonna, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. I don't know. I don't know why you guys let me get away with this stuff. This looked horrific. Alright, here we go. Boom. Boom. Did that go? No, I've got it. Okay. Um, and this is a mess, but... I mean, what are we, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna chuck it in our other thing. Um, and I think we already need a second one. Which is actually... It's kind of fine. I'm curious... Can we use these? Like, can we put these into anything else? I don't quite know if we can. Like, so, so what's it from? It's from RF Tools Storage. Let's have a look at that. Let's do at RF Tools. Um, is there two S's? Yes, storage. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. Um, a crafting manager that is a work in progress. So this doesn't exist yet. We have a tablet, um, storage scanner, remote storage module, and modular storage. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, we should probably also get a tablet, and I think I looked at them before, I apparently didn't bookmark it, um, tablet, we want an RF Tools tablet, which, um, is not here, ah, here it is, it's called a tablet empty, um, blocks of redstone, quartz, emerald, gold nuggets, can we just make this, um, what are we missing, we're missing an emerald, um, we're obviously missing the redstone, but the redstone we might have here. I think that might be enough. Uh, the emerald is in the storage drawers, which we need to add to this list. 
So let's search um, draw. Will this highlight the actual drawers? No. It's just these ones anyway, so not much of a hard work there. Let's get back to the top. Boom. Do this. Um, okay. Place these away. Um, one, two, three, I think it was. And then we make this. So, so essentially what I'm trying to do here is get um, wireless access to our to our storage, which I think we can do. I think we have the ability to do it. Let's make some more nuggets. Um, we're going to need a quartz block, which I think we can do. I think we have maybe just enough. We don't have that quartz, but we have something. All right, here we go. Um, I'll just grab these. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, craft one. Oh, maybe craft one here. There we go. I think the, the inventory is full, so like this has nowhere to go. Um, but hopefully we can still craft things. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay. Tablet empty. Beautiful. Then I think what we want is a storage scanner. Storage control screen module. Um, dum, 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 dum. This module can also be combined with a tablet for remote access to a storage scanner controlled system. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Tablet scanner. And it looks like this. Yes. Okay. So we need one of these guys, which is actually a pretty easy craft, assuming we have crafting tables, which apparently we don't. But once again, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, we've got plenty now. Um, one of these. Boom. Craft one. Right? Maybe not. There we go. Okay, hopefully I didn't craft two. I don't think I did. Um, now I think I combine these, right? I don't really know how. Open the GUI to combine with a possible tablet. Okay. Um, how do I open the GUI? Oh, wrong guy. Okay. So I just place it in there. I think the first thing we want to do, though, is link it. And how do you link it? Do you shift right click? Let's try that. Storage module is set to block storage scanner. Okay, then I'll open up my tablet, and I'll shift click this guy in. So there we go, he's in. Um, and now I right click, and I have access to my system from anywhere. It seems like it. How beautiful is this? We already have wireless access. Now, well, I guess we can do crafting. We can do crafting in there. Interesting. Did we just solve all the problems? I think we did. I think we we pretty much did. So now I should be able to grab all of this stuff out, right? Open my inventory and start putting things in. Now it's still very slow. I, I mean, well, it's slow because we're out of storage and I completely forgot, but I guess I'll have to fix that first. Um, but I'm wondering if we could put a speed upgrade into the, um, the storage. Um, I was curious as to maybe there's like a speed upgrade, but I think how it works is you can infuse things. I think that's how RF Tools does it. Infusing bonus. Okay, does the storage scanner have an infusing bonus? Ooh, it does, but it's just reduced power consumption. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to make them faster. I, I don't know if you can. You might not be able to. But anyway, we need to make another... I think we need to make another storage and another set of these uh, modules. I think. I don't think you can put multiple in the one. All right. Let's make this guy, which we should have been able to make. Didn't I make a bunch of blue dye? What? Did it go in here or something? Where'd the blue dye go? I'm guessing maybe I didn't make a full stack of blue dye. I definitely meant to. Um, well, we've got it now, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Okay, what, what else do we need? We need one of these. Beautiful. Um, then we need... Oh, yeah, it was quartz. Um, which, didn't I have that as well? I'm guessing we used it all up. I'm going to grab another stack of these and um, do this whole thing again. Where I compress it and crush it. Because we're out of quartz and we need it. Alright, while that is doing its thing, uh, getting us the quartz, we do have a lot of netherite scrap. Now, what can we use this for? We... We can make netherite, and then, I guess you make things, <laughs> right? We, oh, we can make the pipe upgrade. Um, bunch of transmitters. 
Okay. A bit sore? Alright. Oh, you know what? I just realized we don't really need to wait for this guy. Because we have the, the time in a bottle. Which I just vanished? Where's my... Wait, 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 wait. It must have been in here? Okay, okay. We're, we're back in business. We're back in business. Speed this guy up again. Hopefully get a little bit of nether quartz, please. None? It just went through like 20? And I didn't get a single nether quartz? Okay, well... I mean, I don't know what to do. Alright, we, we got the one. We got the one. I think we still need more anyway. In fact, why am I running here? I have... I need, to, I need to get used to using this guy. So let me put him in the slot that I normally have this stuff. Okay. Modular storage. Boom. We have one. This guy... They don't even need to be here. Like, where the power is. But I think it's fine having them there. Um, so that's going to go there. Then we are going to make one of these, which needs two quartz, so we're not going to make it yet. But we're going to think about making it. And hopefully we have one quartz. Oh, we have two. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. Good timing. Um, we're going to craft one of these. Ta-da. Tier one storage. Um, then I think before we do anything else, I think we need another chest. So let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Oh, no. We actually have a lot of chests. Oh, yeah, because we, we picked them all up. Alright, well, next, I kind of want to do the next upgrade, but we don't have the extra quartz, do we? We do. <laughs> we do. It's a, it's a magic trick. I ask and I receive. Okay, we have a tier 2 storage. Beautiful. Once again, if we want to go to the tier 3, um, it costs blocks of diamond, blocks of quartz, and blocks of redstone. Um, which I don't think is worth it. I think it's more worth it to just make more of these. It's a little bit messier, I guess, but um, it's cheaper. <laughs> This is going to go here. We're going to click um, nothing, I guess. You know what? One thing I will say is every time I set this up and do the lock, I seem to lag out. I completely lag out. And I have to actually re-log. I have to quit the server, join back on. Um, so if you're encountering a similar issue, I guess a big heads up. Um, I'm not sure if it's a just a me thing or if it's a mod thing. I might, I might have to look into that later, but um, yeah. Some things show up in chat, but some things don't. So, I'll, I'll quickly relog. All right, we're back in. Uh, this guy's opened, and he's locked again. Beautiful. So, I should be able to chuck all of this stuff in now, for the most part. Um, and I think we're back in business. So, now I can show off what I was trying to show off before, which is the transferring being slow. So, like, if I want to put all of this in, like, look at how long this takes. And there should be room. Actually, wait. No, I take that back again. There's there's still not room because um, there's a new one now. There's a new modular storage, right? This should be on the list. Here it is. Okay, routable. Okay. Now look. See? It's slow. I'm holding shift while I do this. And it's just... It's not really happening. Um, and, oh, Can you put stuff in directly? It doesn't look like it. You have to put it in through this little slot, um, which is very annoying. But, yeah, I guess it's fine. Boom, boom. Sometimes it takes longer than others. Not sure why. Oh, hopefully. Okay. There we go. Look at this. We have pretty much cleaned everything up. We don't currently have any ore generation or, I guess, ingot generation, but we are working on it. All right, so I have a, hmm, a new plan. I kind of want to directly put stuff into the pulverizer. So I'm going to break this. It's going to make a massive mess, I think. We managed to suck it all up. Beautiful. I'm going to pick this guy up. A little bit more of a mess. That's fine. Place the pulverizer here, which is fine. Um, set the right side to be inputs, which should work. Yep, that's working. Um, make sure all these other sides are clear. What other outputs do we have? It's only that. Okay. Um, this cable is going to be ran underneath, probably, which, I mean, it doesn't have far to go, but I, th I think it will look a little bit nicer. So we'll do this, chop these two, probably hop down here. Um, boom, boom, open up this, search for pipes, which we don't actually have. Oh, um, we don't actually have them. It, it should still be fine. I should be able to take this out, make a block. Or two. I think we need two for these pipes. Search pipes. Energy pipes. Boom. Craft one. 
And it won't work? Uh, do we not have the iron? I don't think we have the iron. Iron. No, we don't. Oh. That's <laughs> probably not good. I mean, I guess I'll take out the iron ore that we have and I guess manually smelt it. So I'm going to have to run back, run back up for this. Um, I I would say it's worth it, but honestly, I don't even know if it's worth it. All right, in it goes. We're not going to pulverize it because... Oh, we've got 64 iron ore chunks on us. Okay. So um, that's where everything's at at the moment. Did I put the time and bottle away again? No. Okay. I'm looking at my inventory and I don't see it. That is not good. Where did it go? What have I done? Did I throw it off the map? Um, so I'm still confused. Where's my... What? It's it... Okay, I am being trolled. What? Wait, what, what did I do? What did I just do? What did I just do? Did I just put everything in my... in? What have I done? What is happening? What is actually happening right now? Am I lagging this badly? I must be. Okay, let me sort out my inventory. Let me let me figure out what what just happened because I am I am lost and scared. Okay, I think I think we're good. I I don't know what's happening. I'm still a little bit scared. Can we now craft one of these? We can. Beautiful. Energy pipes. <laughs> nice. We're we're using all of our iron just to make this go like that, which is really probably not worth it, but it's happened anyway, so you, you can't complain. It's done. All right. <laughs> Nice. Cabling complete. Um, next on the list is actually making this platform a little bit bigger, um, which we'll probably do with the horizontal wall um, on like a, I guess a five range. I guess this is nice. We can do something like this. Maybe that. Maybe expand this out a little bit. Maybe, maybe fix everything. And what we can also do is remember to place torches before we get uh, jumped. There we go. Okay. So, where were we? Um, this guy's here. We can have him output to the left. Um, and what do we want to do? Do we want to have him go directly into a furnace? I don't think so. I, I still don't think we want to do that. I think we want to get a chest. Um, place a chest here. So, is this going to... Yeah, this guy's going to fill up. Then we want to also grab a pipe. An item pipe would be good. And this is where it goes into a chest, right? I guess, you know what? I could have it go behind. I could have the chest go behind. Just as like a little hidden thing. Let's um grab my axe back. Boom. Oh, pick up you. Put you there. Put you there. Um, chest can go here. The back can be the output. So now it should go in there. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and we get a bunch of junk, apparently. Um, well, actually, no, I think, once again, I think it's only the gravel that's the extra. So, all I should have to do is place this here. Place this here. Right. Get a draw. Um, hmm. I would prefer a normal draw. So, yeah, let, let's make a normal draw. We'll do this properly. Normal draw, check. This draw is going to go here. And it is going to hold gravel. And that's all it's going to hold. And we can make sure that's all it holds by getting a draw key. Right clicking it. And boom, that's set. It will only hold gravel all the time, 24-7. Next thing we need is actually a pipe upgrade. Um, which needs iron. So we're not going to be able to do that. But... That will be the first thing we get, I think. Um, for now, I guess we'll stick with the furnace. Um, I think everything... Does everything require redstone? Can we get an electric furnace? Can we, we already have an induction smelter, which I think we can use. But what would say... Oh, actually, a silver furnace. A copper furnace. We could do this. Hmm. Let's... Hmm, do we want to do this? I think we do. Let's give it a try. Um, apparently we don't have a furnace furnace. So let's make a furnace furnace. 
Then let's make it into copper. Then let's make it into... What can it go into? Iron or silver? Well, we don't have iron, so let's uh, jump the gun on here and go to silver. Then what? A block of gold and some glass will get us a golden furnace. Uh, the block of gold should be easy. We have quite a bit of that. Um, the glass, we don't really have enough. Uh, do we have sand? No. Um, okay. <laughs> do we have gravel? We actually do have quite a bit. Um, yeah, let me, let me pulverize up some of this. Alright, we, we are doing a big cleanup this episode. Like, everything is going to be perfect, okay? Uh, you know, maybe not perfect. I won't go that far. I, I definitely won't go that far. But it's going to be good, okay? It's going to look a lot better. Like, this area, nice and clean. This is going to be nice and neat. Our storage is already nice and neat. We just come over here. If we, if we even want to, we don't even have to. We can open up here. I'm also going to move this mess at, by the end of the episode. And, in fact, this mess... I'm just going to clean up like that. Boom. It's not It's not even an issue anymore. It doesn't exist. The Mega Civ has been decommissioned. Yeah, it might make a reappearance. You know, no promises though. That is... Uh, see what I mean? It's annoying trying to get rid of all these uh, meshes, but uh, I guess it's fine. Okay, glass. Boom. Beautiful. Um, the glass is in here. So now, we should be able to make the gold furnace. Boom. Golden furnace. Um, diamond furnace? We have 24, we have 24 diamonds and 13 emeralds. Okay, I think we can afford a diamond furnace. I'm going to go for it. And it looks like we can get an emerald furnace. Or we can get a crystal furnace. Now, I don't have an eye of ender. We don't have an ender pearl, so we won't be doing that. I guess we'll get the emerald one. What's next? Obsidian. It needs blaze rods. Um... We currently don't have an enrichment chamber, so we can't do that yet. Because um, we do have the the blaze powder, right? We, we, we managed to get that. Um, okay. Let's place this guy here. Ooh. I just remembered. These guys... Oh, actually, wait. Oh, we can config. Oh, beautiful. Ten times better than a normal um, furnace. Oh. You can actually set what the sides do. So instead of fuel only going in the sides like a vanilla furnace, I can say, nope, that side will be the input. How beautiful is that? That is that is the future right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, how do I want to store all the stuff we get? Honestly, I think we should do drawers. I think that's how we'll do it. And then we'll link the drawers to this system. I think that's the play we're going to go for. So this time around... We actually do want the um the two by twos, or at least I uh, I think the two by twos. Do I want the two by twos? Oh, now I'm not sure. I think I do. I think oh, oh we could go compacting. Oh, that uses a lot of iron, more iron than we have at the moment. Ah uh, yeah yeah blah, blah. yeah. We could do one by twos. Nah, we'll we'll do two by twos. It's fine. Let's um we'll see how many we need because I don't really know how many we need. Um, what we can also do, which might look pretty cool. Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to have this guy go behind. I'm going to unlink him, right? And then have it go here. You know what I can get as well? A drawer controller. Mm, diamond, stone, quartz, stone. Okay. Can we do that? How much stone do we have? I don't think we have much stone. I can definitely make some. Um... Why am I do going over to that furnace? This is the furnace where it's at. Okay. I'm going to try and make a, a drawer control. Do I even need one? I'm just trying to think. I... Hmm. I would save pipes if I made one. Um... But I don't think I need one. Boom. I said it. I don't think I need a drawer controller. Ha. Huh. Take that. Haters. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying, okay? I haven't slept in a while, in case uh, none of you guys have caught on yet. Um, so this should be good. Then I should be able to tell this guy the back is the output. And as for the fuel... Um, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got this, I got this. Make sure this guy's extract. Perfect. The fuel is going to come from the top. The fuel... And that is going to be auto input. Uh, uh, 
Is that going to auto input the fuel? Hmm. I'm not too sure. Let's um, let's test it out, right? Let's get a chest. I guess we're going to go for one of these. Um, let's get some coal. We'll grab just the little bits of coal, I guess. Place this here. Place this here. Place that there. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Everything is going according to plan except for that. Beautiful. So now, eh? Iron gets smelted. Iron gets put in drawer. Beautiful. And look at how fast it goes. This is just normal. No special effects. No speeding up, which, I mean, you can imagine how much faster it will go. Um, so the only other thing that we could do is make this guy run on electricity. Now, is it iron furnaces that adds this? Um, hmm. I'm not too sure. Oh, it is. But you have to change it. I, I just did at furnace, right? And so, I think this is it. The wireless heat receiver and transmitter. And then what are these? These are different recipes. That's pretty cool. Um, so, this guy, linked with the wireless heat receiver, done by placing the receiver in the wireless heat transmitter, provide this block with forge energy, and it will power all wireless heat receivers that are bound. So, this would cost some stone, a furnace, block of redstone, and a comparator, which is just a quartz and some more redstone. And then this guy requires more stone, more redstone, and that's pretty much it. So stone, redstone, and then we would have ourselves a um oh oh we would have ourselves a, an electric powered furnace, um but an emerald furnace. You know, does that make sense? <laughs> I don't think it makes sense, but it's not my job for it to not make sense, right? I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a crack. So, uh, we definitely are going to need more, um, what should we call it, more redstone. So, I was going to grab some dust and pulverize that, but I don't actually know, are we all out of dust? I thought I had extra dust that I was keeping around, but it's not in here. And this is all my, my so essentially all my storage, unless there's like some hidden ones. Oh, you know what? There is hidden ones. The dirt chest was being used to stash all of my dust. So I'm going to chuck this dust in here. Thank you very much. Um, grab the quartz out. That should be good. And I might just speed this guy up a little bit. Just to, you know, try and get a little bit of redstone. Apparently, that's not the play, but I guess it's fine. Um, okay. I guess we'll start crafting, right? I really want to get these flint meshes out of my inventory. I think that's got it. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll start with this guy. Let me bookmark him. Um, the stone is getting smelt- No, it's not getting smelted up. I completely forgot that I need to put coal in things for them to do things. Um, boom, 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 nope. Boom, 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 boom. That should be getting stone, which is going in there. We'll grab that out later. That's fine. Um, so, <laughs> where were we? We're going to need this guy, which needs- Three redstone torches, which I don't think we have. No, nope, we don't have that. I was just making sure, because we don't have much redstone, so we're kind of, you know, we don't want to use more than we have to. Um, so this should make a comparator, which needs just a little bit of stone, which, believe it or not, we already have 12. That's how fast that furnace is. So we have a comparator. Um, we now have a block of redstone. And now, ooh, we just need a furnace, I think off one of those. We now have a wireless heat trans... No. Nope. What are we missing? We're still missing the stone. <laughs> um, boom. How much is that? 11. Beautiful. That's more than enough. Craft one. Boom. Wireless heat transmitter. So this guy essentially just needs to be attached to power. So we could probably slap this guy... Oh, that's a chest. <laughs> How did that happen? I do not know. Um, we can place this guy right here. Right? And he hooks up and he's going to start storing power. Apparently, he holds a million RF. So, I think that will come in handy when we start using our time in a bottle on him. Which, honestly, I don't think we need to do. But, I mean, hey. If it comes down to it, I'm willing to pay the price. Um, so, next up is the actual receiver, right? So, this guy needs three more torches. So, we can do that pretty easily. Boom. Make the comparator. Boom. Nice. 
Um, and then we just make this, which apparently we have all the redstone for, and we just need the stone, which we definitely have. Boom. Wireless heat receiver. So I should now be able to replace this and... Nope, I've got to link them first. <laughs> and I think you link them by placing it inside. So now it's linked. Ooh. And you can see all the power in here is now empty. And I assume that's because it's storing up in some sort of buffer inside of this guy. Maybe. Let's place him inside here. And yeah. You should see. Yeah, nice. Nice. It's burning. We can grab this coal out. Put it back in our system. Right? And it's a Merry Christmas to all. Right? We get to keep our compressed coal, which uh, we'll probably use it for actual coal. Like, we'll, we'll recompress it. Let's actually do that. Can we? Can we get our coal back? Bring back coal. Um, boom. Craft as many as we can. Boom. Okay. We have coal again, which means we can craft with it. We can do all that. Um, as for the stone, I'm just going to take all of it out. Now, we'll continue um, doing this stuff. I wonder how much it stores. I assume maybe just another million RF. I'm also wondering how much power this is going to use. Look at that. Isn't this just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Let me... Oh, we're out of power. <laughs> okay. It's nice. Well, the, the reason I'm doing that, by the way, is because we have quite a bit of a buffer. That's not even all the stuff. We have a lot more dust in here that needs to be smelted um, that we've got to get through. So I, I guess I'll transfer all this. Um... But I feel like we're at a pretty good point where I could probably wrap up. I'm just going to, I guess, grab all of this. There's a bunch of stuff here. Some of this stuff doesn't get smelted, so I need to be careful. But we'll sort that out in a second. Um, nickel. Okay. Um, what gets put away? The glowstone dust, the certus quartz, and I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. More certus quartz. Okay, beautiful. The rest of this stuff gets processed. Except for appetite. I didn't count on appetite. Um, what that means is this guy is getting an upgrade. And by an upgrade, I mean we're getting a different draw. <laughs> we're going to get, um, one of these 1x2s. Because I feel like it'll look better. Um, so that has 15 gravel in it. That can sit in our system for the rest of its life. That can go there. Boom. And, uh, that's not what we want to happen. It's fine. We'll fix it in a second. Gravel. Appetite. Boom. Um, place that there at least. Oh, I was trying I was trying to beat the system. It's fine. We'll we'll just turn that off. Take all of that out. Place that in. Okay. <laughs> I tried to like click faster than the pipe could pipe, but sadly the pipe the pipe out piped me. Okay. There we go. That's beautiful. Um I don't think we need to do the the draw key, but I'll do it anyway. Because I can't help myself. Um Last but not least, this guy. Um, and essentially, I'm just going to move him. So there's not really much to it. So, I guess I'll pick all this up. And I'll meet you guys at the new location. Which I'm going to have to build as well. Ooh, also, um, I just looked at the map. And apparently, there's a creeper at my base. Um, so, that's going to be fun. Hopefully, he doesn't blow everything up. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's the island. There's also some other weird structure built behind there. Um, and basically, we want to be about m more than 24 blocks away from there. And that's roughly here. So essentially, we're just going to build a bit of a platform. Um, I'm not sure what I want to build it out of. Um, I guess we can build it out of dirt. Maybe that's the play? Build a nice little dirt platform to have it on? Hmm... We will put dirt, but I think we also want just, like, land first, right? So just some building material, which, I mean, I guess we'll just use cobble. We'll see how this looks. Um, so, I should be able to do this, do this, and how big do I want it? Probably, probably max length. And we'll just do, like, one of these, one of these, and then just fill this up. Um, we're just going to need a little bit of cobble, but I'll do this off camera. Oh, have I reached the range? Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like I've reached the range. So that works. This works. This doesn't work. Okay. I guess that's good to know. Um, I want to link up the pedestal that has all the cobble. Um, which I think I can just write cobble. And we should be able to see it. It should stand out like a sore thumb. There it is. Beautiful. Make that routable. 
We can go back up the top now and start grabbing some more cobble. <laughs> We're almost done anyway. There's just a few little bits here. Oh, am I out of... I'm out of power. Okay. Let me uh, torch this up so that I don't come back to a fleet of mobs. And I'll power that up. I'll finish the platform and we'll place the stuff and probably wrap up. Alrighty, it's powered up. Beautiful. Now I make the run back. Um, because, if we actually have a look here, we have one ender pearl. This guy's been running 24-7. We have one ender pearl. That, that, that's just my little update. <laughs> okay, platform achieved. Um, walk over here a little bit so we can get our storage. Um, torch. I would like to make a torch. Boom, boom. Um, a stack of torch, please. Thank you for the stack of torch. Boom, 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 boom. Um, as for the dirt platform that is going to have to exist, um, I probably should have built that before placing torches, but it's fine. Boom, boom, boom. The dirt will go here. So I will place a dirt. I will pick the dirt. I will change it to the wall. And we'll make it what? Like a this? Type of type of deal. Um, maybe go out there. Uh, you know what? Let's can we undo that? We can. I think this is a good enough platform because all this is for is for growing trees, right? So I think this is fine. Um, if anything, we might be able to go a bit high. No, I think this is fine. I think this is a good level. Um, we could even do stairs around it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I think this is fine, because I'm wanting to just be able to stand next to it and chop. And I think that's, uh, this is a good size for that. Um, I might put grass seeds, like, if we have them, but I don't think we do. No. I, I was going to put grass here just so that, you know, it looks nice. But this should be fine. Um, now next up is the actual dirt processing. So, what do we need for that? Barrels, pipes, chests, and that's pretty much it, right? So we have a... We can probably make this look nice as well. Uh, maybe not look nice, but, you know, look not as horrific. So we can have a chest here that will be our dumping chest. And this guy is going to look something like this. Um, boom, 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 boom. And boom. That torch will have to be relocated. Boom. So that should be good. This should work. I'm going to have to build a little roof for this, though. I just realized. <laughs> okay, um, let's make cobblestone walls for this. Because I want to make, um, like a little, like a this thing, you know? I think this will look nice. What do you guys think of this? Just a nice little, little slab roof sort of thing. And then this should stop them from filling up with rain. So, I will use the last of my durability on this. Boom. Replace them, and they should be nice and rain-free. Beautiful. And then, um, hmm, I didn't, I didn't think about this. <laughs> um, hmm, huh? How do I, wanna, how do I want to do this? I kind of wanted it to look nice. Um, apparently that's not exactly possible. You know what? I think it is possible. We have three extra slabs. Let's move this forward one. Right? Forward one. We can place our slab so it still looks nice. Then what I want to do is pick up this chest with a, an axe because I'm not going to start using my fist. Um, boom. Nice. And this guy can go like that. Right? That doesn't look too bad. Then we can get another chest. Um, can we get a normal looking chest? Is that, is that possible? Just a normal, a normal chest? Yes. Wonderful. That can go there. We can break this. Um, figure out how to not have mobs spawn here, even with that broken. Yep, there we go. Then, here's where it gets a little bit tricky, because I've got, I've got to make all of these extract, which, that should do it. We can have a look. Yep. They're all extracting. You can see the little outline thing. In case you're not sure about that. Boom. And this should work. This should be our little dirt automation. Um, all we have to do now is, you know, place some saplings. 
right? Place saplings there. Put this away in our system, which I guess we can't. That's fine. Um, I'm not sure why we can't, but once again, of course, <laughs> why would we? Then we can run around. They should grow, right? Then we can stand here, chop them into sawdust. Assuming we have magnet power, we should be able to pick up the sawdust just by running around, I would hope. Um, I guess we can, we can jump up if we need to. And then we chuck the sawdust in here. It goes through, in theory. I think it splits them somewhat evenly though. So you, you do want to sort of try to, um, you know, get, get enough sawdust, I guess. But in the long run, it doesn't matter, right? Like, at this stage, it, it should be fine. And these should all fill up, do a little fancy particle effect. And then they should instantly output into the chest, right? Just to double check, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, I'd say this is a mission complete. We have everything looking beautiful. I could probably place a torch in the middle. Just to double check. Um, okay, this is fine. Still no animals yet. But I'm, I'm sure they're on their way. Um, the base is clean. We have wireless inventory access. We have a beacon. <laughs> we have a beacon letting us run fast. Um, I think that's it. I think we're good for now. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel quite a lot. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. How's this going? Oh, yeah, this looks beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Goodbye.